1966 was a pivotal year for many reasons. It was a year of success and of change. It signalled the dawn of a new information age with huge advances in science and technology. And it was against this backdrop that the Electricity Council Research Centre was born with an exciting remit to find bold new ways of using electricity to create new technologies and shape the networks of the future. So, what did we come up with? The 1970s was the decade of radio frequency, microwave research and electric traction. It also saw us developing the first electric cars before they were fashionable. As we headed into the 80s, our strong focus on research led to more developments, including the first TEV prototype. We also started to look to the wider society, making our homes warmer, more efficient. Electricity. Energy for life. The 1990s saw a shake-up in pop and politics. It also brought some new faces to EA technology as well as some challenges as we separated with our satellite companies, SeaTech and Farm Energy Center. We changed our name four times. It was in the 90s that we launched our commercial partial discharge locator, the first of our new instrument line of business. And then onto the first cable sniffer, launched in 2001 and still going strong today. As we reflect on 50 years, it's clear that our people have always been at the core of EA technology. And in 2004, the employees bought out the company and we continued to fly. We've taken on more staff and celebrated successes. We've continued to grow right around the world. We've seen our ideas come into fruition and we've continued to pioneer the new technologies that are keeping our networks running no matter where in the world we are. In this, our 50th year, we can look back at our history with pride while keeping an eye firmly on our ambitions for the future. It's a future full of ideas, full of innovation and with people at its heart. Let's meet our challenges head on, together, and make the next 50 years even more successful.